This is Stefano from Video Game Hunters and welcome to a new journey. We begin by revisiting my local cash trainers. I have summoned the almighty Power Glove to help me find the best deals in Australia. Godzilla Destroy All Monsters, $19. Sonic Mega Collection $19 Mario Golf $29 I bundled the GameCube games and paid $60 for the lot I negotiated the price and only paid $25 for the Game Boy the guys at Cash Traders are always happy to negotiate a better deal. Mention that you watch Video Game Hunters on YouTube to get further discounts on gaming. Rad Racer for the NES. Be sure to watch this whole video for a chance to win this awesome game. I actually picked up some rare Sega games the week before I filmed. You always find the best deals off camera. I love the power glove. It's so bad. Ah, good old cash converters. Let's see if I can find a deal. $49 for Kaboom on the Atari. Their prices really are exploding. They wanted $99 for this Atari Lynx. The Power Glove is sensing a rare Super Nintendo game. What could it be? Wild Guns! This game is highly addictive and a great game to play with friends. Here is some gameplay footage. Wild Guns is a unique Super Nintendo game and highly desirable, making it one of the rarest games on the Super Nintendo. So how much did I pay for this game? $15, I win this time cash converters. I took a trip to Oz Comic Con Melbourne. Here's some footage from the event. Unfortunately, there weren't many retro games at this event, but I did get my hands on the new Super Smash Brothers. Here's some gameplay footage. Little Mac is a great addition to this series. I recommend you try him out if you get the game. Fuller, go easy on the Pepsi. <laughs> Last stop is at the Trash and Treasure Market. Let's see if I can find a bargain. It's 
usually the same sun damage games every week. You really have to dig to find the bargain. I did manage to pick up this Nintendo DS slot and GameCube game for $50. Not a bad deal. As I was leaving the market, I came across a small game and watch for an unbelievable price. The lady wanted $2. I gave her a $5 note and told her to keep the change. What a joker. <laughs>